hello family welcome back to naturally so they'll be taking a look at this powerful ingredient that promotes hair growth if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe for more videos and more updates our first ingredient we'll be using is dried hibiscus leaves It's very very potent for the hair it stops hair loss it makes your hair look healthy and lustrous it prevents premature aging and it thickens your hair and add volumes this is something i've tried before and i am attached into it our next ingredient is fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds is also beneficial for hair growth because it finds it fights dandruffs it controls scalp inflammation it adds shines and soft texture it prevents premature aging and it revives damaged hair as well a third ingredient will be using rosemary leaves i'm sure most of you have heard about the importance of rosemary leaves for the hair and it is so important because rosemary promotes nerve growth when you have blood circulation in your scalp it promotes the hair to grow and it also has anti-inflammatory properties rosemary also improves blood circulation this is an ingredient that you can also find in your homes neem leaves I don't know if you are expecting this ingredient but neem leaves is very good for the hair because it conditions nourished hair and it prevents premature aging as well our last ingredient is cloves after cloves cloves is also very important for the hair because it adds shine to the hair it treats dandruff it prevents premature grain of hair it curves hair loss and it promotes hair growth all these mixtures are herbs they are natural ingredients there's no additive there are no chemicals having this in your hair is not something you should use once in a year or once in a month it's not a magic something that it's a one-time fix something that should be continuous i'll be adding pictures of my old hair so this is my hair before i started using herbs so when i'm done with all these herbs i'll add lots of water this 1.5 liters of water because these are a lot of herbs and i don't want it to be so concentrated to the extent that the smell will irritate me so i add a lot of water to it so that it wouldn't be so so concentrated guys this is something you can do at home and keep it in your fridge and use it bit by bit to thicken your hair just give yourself about six months to use herbs for your hair and you'll come back and thank me later because herbs really grow the hair herbs really grow the hair i have been like i am attesting to this confidently herbs really really grow the hair so after this i put it on the fire for about 20 minutes because my heat is very high i want the herbs to release their nutrients into the liquid because it's the liquid i'll be using for my hair as you can see the color has changed to like reddish this is the color of the hibiscus so you think that it's only the hibiscus that has been infused into the water no, the rosemary, the neem leaves, the cloves, and fenugreek are all infused into the water. So after here, I leave it to cool for a bit so that I'll be able to strain it and then put it in my applicator bottle. If you are planning on growing natural hair, I'd advise you introduce herbs into your hair. Like I can't stress on this enough. It has really been helpful for me. I learned these tricks on green beauty i wouldn't call them tricks i learned these from green beauty and she's very good you can search her out on youtube she's really good she made my hair thick because of the things i learned from her so i'm also willing to share my thoughts on it as well after i transfer after i sieve it i then transfer it into my applicator bottle so this is the applicator bottle i'll be using every day until the potent until the liquid finishes so when it finishes i will only have to refill it and then use it as long as i can this is so easy to do it wouldn't take you about an hour to get this because you'll be doing it in smaller quantities i don't think you can you have to leave it on the fire for 20 minutes or for the way i left mine on the fire
so yes i guess you are surprised my hair is in braids so you'll be asking oh how are you going to apply this in your hair when you're already in braids braids don't mean you should neglect your hair braids is actually the time you should give attention to your hair but not as much attention as you can give it to it when it's when you're not in braids so this is my braid this braid is about two weeks old or i think less than two weeks old and it looks old already i'm not even concentrating on the beauty of it i just want the health of the hair so before you apply anything to your hair try to massage your scalp and make sure your hair is ready to receive any nutrients or any products you are about to put in so i give my my scalp a thorough massage a very good massage before i apply the spray you can decide to section your hair so that your hair wouldn't be you know you'll be sure of where you are putting the spray you can decide to section your hair but i didn't really section my hair because it wasn't my hair is not that much and i'm able to manage it in braids better than managing it without braids when spraying it into your hair kindly focus on your scalp because the hair grows from the scalp and when this product reaches the scalp you should give it enough massage like i can't stress on massaging your hair enough please massage the hair enough as soon as this lands on your scalp please massage it gently but thoroughly and you can massage it for about five minutes so that there's heat there and then there's blood circulation there as well my natural hair journey has always been an inspiration for me and others because looking back at when i started i went all the way bald and coming back from natural i didn't really know my status i just wanted to do natural because i haven't been a pimped type i don't really like perming and i'm happy that i embraced this natural journey by doing thorough research you don't just say you're growing natural hair you have to do research you have to research what your hair likes research the type of hair you have research how often washing will help you research if you need to people your hair before washing like research what helps you before you decide to go into anything serious because natural hair is a journey it's a journey that you wouldn't wouldn't want to go not being knowledgeable or not be an expert you don't even need to be an expert you just need to know where you are going to you just need to know your destination before you take the journey and this has been really really helpful I also try to have a few videos on how I treat my hair in braids. I have one with onion juice because you know usually after we braid we have this pain in our scalp from the tight tension. Yeah, so it's advisable to steam your hair when you're having this problem so that your hair will heal faster than it's supposed to heal. This bottle can last me for about two weeks or a week. It depends on how often I spray it into my hair. You'll be asking, when you spray it into your hair, won't it stain your bed sheets or something? Okay, so I spray it in the evening. I spray it in the evening when I return from work. And then I walk around a bit, go under the fan, take my shower and all that. So by the time I'm done with all of this, it has dried. So when I wear my bonnet and I go to bed, there's no stain on the bed. This is my homemade aloe vera oil and it is very potent, it's really really potent. My edges had an issue, I even got scared that I'll be getting alopecia, my edges had an issue, I thought there was no way to fix this. this I think at the beginning of the video I put a picture of my edges there, it was really going bad until I started using my aloe vera oil for 3 weeks. And I saw a lot of growth. I saw massive growth. So when you are done with the water, the herbal spray, please top it up with oil to seal in the, the spray to make it, I mean, penetrate into your scalp properly. And don't forget about the massage. The massage is really, really, really important. So guys, this is how I, this is what I do every evening. It's because I'm doing a video, that's why I'm taking my time. But on a regular day, I just do it very fast. Spray it really, really fast and then apply the oil. Focus on my edges because my edges is the weakest and they need the most attention. By the time I remove my braids, I'm planning on keeping these braids for about 
six weeks which i doubt i'll be able to fulfill that but let me see six weeks because i want to have growth when i remove my braids because of the way i'm treating my hair steaming it spraying it with herbs i'm expecting massive growth when i take down my braid so guys this is what i have for you tried and tested herbs that really make your hair thick because i have tried and have tested it my name is lydia if you are new to this channel please subscribe thank you bye